All right, so let's get into this color cut and retwist, shall we? Here are the products I'll be using. Now, honestly, I don't know why I didn't show you guys in the camera, but as you can kind of see from the reflection, right now I'm just putting in the L'Oreal hair color into the mixing bowl, and I'm putting the developer, which is the 30 volume developer, into the bowl as well. And right after this, I'm gonna start mixing. Okay, so let me put this out there now. Sis, we only had one glove left in the box, okay? Please, I am not a professional, but if you do decide to color your own hair, please make sure you have two gloves on. Uh, I will explain this later in the video, but yes, two gloves are recommended. So here I first tried to use the brush uh, to color my locks. I've actually never used the brush before but it just it wasn't it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give so now you're gonna see me just going with my hands and we gonna work this product in also when i say there was only one glove in the box i meant my family's glove uh box because the product well the l'oreal high color product does not come with any gloves at all and i wasn't used to that because i'm usually using other box dyes, so I don't know why I expected there to be gloves in the box. So as you can see, I'm working the product in, but I'm also making sure to stay away from my roots. The roots I will color last because the heat from your head makes it process a little faster and we don't need no uneven tones. Also, as I'm working the product in, you can see that I'm not going all the way down to my ends. Uh, those will get touched eventually as I continue. Here, it may look like I'm squeezing in the product into my locks. I'm actually not. I'm just kind of rolling it in between my fingers uh, just to make sure any uh, dark spots on the outside, you know, just get covered. Any obvious spots that you'll be able to see would be black if they weren't touched. Now at this point, my eyes were definitely on fire and it was giving. My eyes! My eyes! But the show must go on, okay? So now that I finished coloring each lock, uh, for the most part, I'm going in and I'm going to develop the last uh, tube of color and then just apply that to my roots and edges. 
Also, let's just give a quick shout out to how much my hair has grown. All the blonde hair used to be all the way at the top of my head and look how far we've come. I am one year and four months into my lock journey. So while I was trying to hit my roots, I actually realized that it's a lot easier to do this with the brush. And now I'm just gonna make sure to get my little baby locks on the sides. Now at this point I'm just applying the rest of the color to my sides and edges just to make sure they get processed good too. Now look at me looking like a hot Cheeto snack. It's it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna be putting on our clear shower cap. Again, I'm not worried about those blonde ends because when I tuck this in, they will be getting touched by the color, so it's all gonna process. Now at this point, my hand is starting to feel a little funny, so I am wiping it off on the towel. Yeah. And here's me grabbing the box to try to read how bad I just burnt my freaking hand <laughs> trying to apply this color. <laughs> it was at this moment that she knew she up. All right, at this point, I just finished washing the color out. I let it sit in my head for about 45 minutes. And as you can see, I have a glove on now. I asked my daughter to go and grab some because mama probably has chemical burn. <laughs> um, I just finished spritzing my hair, well, my scalp with some coconut oil. And now I'm gonna put my hair up to shave my undercut. Now, normally it's usually recommended for you to cut your hair after a retwist, but I ain't got time, okay? I was already tired, I ain't got time. And now we are starting the retwist.
So this is actually just going to be a water and coconut oil only retwist. I don't want to use any other products or, you know, anything too thick for this retwist. Here you can see me pinning the first lock to my t-shirt because it likes to be unruly and unravel and I ain't got time. <laughs> Also, just an FYI, when I do my retwists, I twist to the right. Uh, that's the way my loctician does it, so that's the way I'm gonna go. Right now I'm just putting a little rubber band on my ends so that the clips don't rotate to the other side. And here I'm just moving my mirror to the middle because I like to use all three sides to do the upper part of my head. And here is the finished product. <laughs> 